Io, welcome back to Imagine Your Odyssey. I am Jason, and today I wanted to take you with me as I go outside to work on my water system. So there's a couple of things that I like to do when I'm at a campground to have good water pressure and good clean water. And I gotta go check on a few things, so I figured since I'm heading out there, I'll take you with me. So let's head on out. So this morning I had a little bit of a pressure problem come from the campground and I wanted to take a shower. And I don't know about you, but I like to take nice warm showers or good hot showers with good amount of pressure to them. Um, so what I had going on there is that the campground had a little less pressure and I needed more. So I needed to use my fresh water tank. Well, I didn't use my fresh water tank because I didn't have any water in there because I've done use it all up. So I needed to add a little extra fresh water. Now the first thing that I'm going to do here is get some water into the fresh water tank. To do that, I need to connect a hose in order to put it into the hole to go ahead and fill that tank up. So I'm going to get something out of the compartment here so that I can show you. All right, so reaching inside here, I have this connector and it's just a simple hose. It's really an empty hose on one end and a threaded end on the other. So the reason I use that is because of the hole over here where I got to put in to fill up the fresh water and let's go see that. As you can see here where my fresh water tank is, if I take this little cap off, you can see right here where I need to fill the fresh water tank. It's probably just like any of yours out there. At least if you have a travel trailer, it's probably on the outside like mine. I know some of you with fifth wheels and stuff have direct connections, but yet mine is right here. So what the problem I had with putting water in is I would use this hose right here to put in there, but it kept popping out. So I made a little short hose so that I can stick the hose into the hole like that. And then I could take this off connect it over here and I could fill up the fresh water and not have to worry about any of this popping out. Go ahead and fill up my tank. A good tip is when you're gonna fill up your fresh water tank to go ahead and connect your filter so that you got good clean water. Now you're gonna hook up your filter and you're gonna hook it to your rig and use the city water. Well, use that same filter to fill up your fresh water tank so you have the good same clean water going in. All right, now that I've got water in my fresh water tank and I've got the city water connection back together, there are a couple of things inside of my camper that I need to check on. Those things are gonna be like making sure that when I run the pump, everything is gonna be fine and that I'm getting the pressure that I'm looking for. The first thing that I wanna do is just check my panel to make sure that I have plenty of fresh water in order to turn on the pump. If I do, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the water pump so that I can check the pressures out. Where I'm gonna do that is at the bathroom. I wanna show you the shower head and show you what the pressure looks like without me running the pump and what the pressure looks like with me running the pump and the city water at the same time. Now, I wouldn't recommend running your fresh water tank pump and your city water connection at the same time unless you feel comfortable doing so. Now, I'm doing it for the first time, so I have no idea how it's gonna go, so I'm gonna do it and take one for the team. I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera right here so that you can see what the water pressure looks like. It'll be coming out of the shower and you'll be able to see what it looks like when I first turn on the shower. It'll be on the city water connection only. And then I'm going to go turn on the switch to the fresh water tank pump and you'll be able to see the pressure increase. That way you kind of get an idea about what we're trying to accomplish here today. So as you can see, running the city water by itself didn't give a lot of pressure and adding the fresh water tank pump did. It gave me all the pressure that I need in my shower. Now, that being said, I'm not gonna run my fresh water tank pump if I'm gonna just wash dishes. I don't need all that extra pressure there. Now, if I'm gonna use it in other instances where I want the pressure, then I'll add it. So you can kind of see here on how the fresh water tank level itself will last a little bit longer that way, and you can turn it on and off as you need it. So I hope you learned something today and you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give the little like and a subscription if you will, if you haven't already. And if you need to keep up the water pressure, then you can use the method that we went through today. So with all that being said, enjoy your extra RV water pressure. Enjoy and be safe on your trips. And until the next time, God bless. I